Let's see who's gone into my matches today. Her, I don't know. See, she's just trying to look for anyone, other disabilities. Makes it easier sometimes online, finding uh, people with problems of their own. I've sometimes met people who try and put the blame on yourself. If you're going to have a seizure, you're going to have a seizure. He's just falling now, Barbara. <laughs> My name is Brett Simister. I am 42 years of age. In a sense, I don't really know where I got this or how I got it. I just kind of walked into uh, the bathroom mirror one day and <laughs> I just noticed it. <laughs> right now for my seizures, I use five different types of medicines. Vimpat, Epival, Keppra, Lamotrigine, and Tegretol. I have to keep on adding new medicine to my uh, seizure disorder and it's, it just becomes, I become too used to the medicine. I find that, say, over the years, my epilepsy has gotten a little bit uh, worse. Better your glasses. <laughs> my mom comes and helps me quite a bit after I have uh, the big grandmas. I was with him when he had a drop seizure. Uh, mashed his glasses and he got bruises all over his face and scratches and stuff like that. Unfortunately, he doesn't have too many of those. But uh, there are moments, you know, when I'm elsewhere and it's quite evident he's in seizure mode that it scares the heck out of us. When he was in the hospital last time, uh, they thought he was having something like 40 type seizure activity a day. You know, that's a lot of seizures. That's really not control at all. He can't remember things from day to day. And um, he has trouble spitting out words at times. Tough as nails. When, when it comes to physical injury, anyway. <laughs> not so tough underneath. We try very much to stay out of his life, except for when he's really bad. We try to call him regularly to make sure he's okay. And the fact that he's, he's living in an apartment by himself is uh, without a roommate at the moment. <laughs> That's independence. That's scary independence. Well, I like getting my own stuff, making my own food. It's just you who's living by yourself and you don't have people telling you what to do right away. You don't have to hide anything from anybody. But technically, he really shouldn't be living by himself at this point. It has taken away uh, a lot of my abilities. Like, I'm not allowed to drive anymore. He had his license when he was 19 and he lost it three months later. Well, I blacked out and then I woke up and I was upside down in a ditch. I knocked the hydro pole over and knocked out power for about four square kilometers. I'm really sad that he's not having the life that a normal kid would have. You know, a normal, well, he's not a kid anymore. I keep thinking of him as, as my baby, hey? My kid, my youngest boy. It's, it's sad because he's missing out on a lot of things. He doesn't have as many friends as he 
used to have, I think he has pushing them away, actually. I find some people are a little, don't understand epilepsy very well. Some people try to avoid it, and other people uh, try and to be nice with it and everything, but they can tend to be a little too nice, and uh, which rather bothers me. I've had jobs where I, I know people have been trying to get rid of me because of my disability. My disorder, I should say. I'm looking for a better life for him. He's the kindest kid. He's a really sweet kid. He would just love to work. He hates being home. Right now, I have to use uh, disability no matter. But uh, as soon as I can get the stimulator in me and actually working for me, then I can just get off, finally get off uh, disability and back into the work world. Athletic seizures. This is the pacemaker. A Vega nerve stimulator, think of it as a pacemaker for the brain. That stimulator will send an electric shock through my, uh, the wires up to my brain to help stop the seizures. It doesn't just sit there like most medicines, which will just uh, make you tired all the time and everything. The stimulator itself actually uh, charges you and gives you an energy boost. I have never seen a VNS before, so I am open. I, I, I am totally open to what it might do. I would think better control would be helpful for any type of social interaction. I've just started using the uh, dating site for the past few years. And now I've been starting to get uh, luck. And that's all I really want to say. Like he likes a girl and stuff like that, and it kind of progresses a little bit. And when he was in his 20s, you know, he was able to do that a little bit. But then he'll have a seizure activity, and either the girl disappears off the face of the earth, or he's so embarrassed he doesn't ever want to see her again. The person I talk to right now is, uh, we just talk back and forth about the, uh, what her problems are, and what I've been going through. And this was a girl that was, uh, has some cerebral palsy problems. So um, I don't know, he never, they never did actually get together because she's got pain problems and he had a bad day the day we were supposed to meet and, and now they're both, so now they're texting still, but that's good. At least they're back to texting, that's good. Person I was supposed to meet in Ottawa I've actually talked to face to face before. We wanted to go uh, have coffee. We'd just gone to the uh, Starbucks up the road to talk to each other. Well, as soon as I get the stimulator in me, it's not going to be, uh, as soon as I get it in me, then everything's cured. I'd like to see him happy. You know, I'd like to see him more social and having fun out of life. Not just kind of worrying about his epilepsy. 